Okay, another effector is a target effector that I want to explain it. Uh, for explain that, I using a coin. Okay. Scale it down and assign it to cloner. And we can add lots of clone here. And <clears throat> I want to add a target. You can add any object that you want as a target. For example, uh, this is sphere as a target. Okay, we need more to better see that. Or to sync better orientation of that, you can use primitive instead of the coin. Okay, we can delete it and done. Oh, that's better. And you can assign the better <clears throat> color to see that. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, the primit you can size in this direction. Okay. Yeah. And I want to use this object as a target that all of the these primits that facing to that object. Select the cloner in a <clears throat> MoGraph effector, you can add a target effector. And in a target effector, if you go into the effector, I say it again, please <clears throat> watch our previous tutorial about the MoGraph effector that I explain a lot of settings there. Okay, in a target, the target tell us, please uh, introduce me a target object. Which object is a target? This is sphere. You can click and drag as a target. As you can see, uh, something is wrong because they are not facing. You can go to the primate uh, orientation and change the orientation to different orientation that you want, as you can see. For example, this, as you can see, they are changing its orientation based on this target, as you can see. But you can go to target and here you can change the op, uh, object vector, op vector to the object like this. You can see different op vector to the object. Exactly, I want to this sphere. Okay, or you can clear it. Uh, you can change it to the y axis. As you can see, you can change it to find a better axis that you want. Okay, if you can uh, cannot change it better, you can go into the primit and change it here. And as you can see, in a positive z, everything is correct now. So you can play with the up vector in uh, primitive cells or the target up vector here, or you can use a reverse uh, heading here. Another interesting option here is a ripple. They are avoiding the objects. If you click and drag, and as you can see, uh, the ripple doesn't work. I think we need more radius now. <clears throat> As you can see, there are. Oh, this is very high. This is, uh, with a ripple, they're avoiding the object with a radius that you define it here and with a strength. It's exactly go to the border if you increase or decrease the radius, you can have a dif different situation. And as you can see, you can create an interesting effect with the ripple. Nice. With the ripple and changing the up vector of the target. Okay. If the uh, 
turn off the user pitch you can define the pitch angle with the object if you have a rotation nice as you can see in this target we don't have a parameter parameter uh, or parameter tab here nice because it's just a target as you can see it's, it's pitch rotation or reverse heading okay this is just target you can use it in your project it's a nice and interesting or you can go to the 100 percent strengths or you can go back to coloner and make it in this direction as many objects that you want okay interesting you can create in such a this interesting effect hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release